Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I just want to make a quick video, like for real quick this time. I updated my key pins. Um, I just want to give you a video shot and point and explain because I have a question or two. Instead of trying to take uh, multiple pictures, I'll still end up taking a picture, but here we go. Let me take this camera off the tripod. I posted a picture on Reddit yesterday. My username is DerekM412. Oh, and um, I just wanted to, sorry, I don't know what it's pointing at. I'm trying to get the camera strap on my hands and zoom out. So, I had a lot of good feedback. This is the finished product. And let me do this. Let me put on the flash on my phone. Yeah. So, I start over here is... I'm, I'm sorry, this is shaky. I took it off the track. But this is pin one, two, three, four, five. And a lot of... Some of this probably... Maybe half of that is... Um, was already in the picture but I either modified it more or the driver pins I really went to town on I think I changed one or two but the rest I actually modified the pin itself that was in the picture so number one over here is just a very deep cut spool key pin one it was in the picture yesterday just got two deep serrations and boy do they get jammed up on the core the third core Number two, I like to call that my candlestick. It's pretty much was a serrated pin, and I just spooled out, hollowed out, whatever you want to call it, and it left that little shelf in the middle. And God, man, does that want to get stuck? And then on top of that, it's literally sitting on top of a spooled key pin. Number three is another very deep cut spool. Did the same thing like I did with the one. It was just a little longer, and um. Actually, I might change one and three because number three is my longest pin, and I don't want to run into problems in the in the um, lock itself. Because normally I I would have to keep a very small small spool there. That's why I think I might change one, like lengthwise. Anyway, that's irrelevant um, for you guys anyway. And then the key pin for number three is everybody was like, "Oh man, that one's big, and you know it's the longest. Definitely got to do something." Kind of added like a double. Um, serration, I keep wanting to say serration, I'm sorry, I'm so tired, a double spool to it, and, um, it's, <laughs> I like it, I think it looks pretty, and then we go up to here, number four, number four was a serrated, and I kind of did just a mini spool, and then above that, I put one last serration, and, I can't, I can't wait to watch somebody pick this, I can't wait to try and pick it, but I, <laughs> I'm going to be cussing myself out. I don't think I'm quite going to have that much luck with it. Um, and then there's the key pin, which was already in the picture on um, Reddit. It sounded like a freaking frog ribbit. Reddit, I mean. This is my favorite key pin because I call this the brother to the candlestick, which was number two right here. And, um... Uh, the candlestick is this one and I kind of call it its brother because I based it off this new design I made Let's, instead of spooling out the um instead of oop, not that one instead of spooling uh, come on oh man okay instead of spooling out the top also I left it and I don't know which way I want to put it in the chamber when I put it in, er, in the core and I have the core. That's what I wanted to show you guys real quick on the video also. And then I'm going to end this video because this is not normally what I would put on my channel. But I figured this was the best way to get it around and show everybody. I don't, I don't know where my core went. So, damn. Oh, it's right here. Good. Because somebody wanted, didn't know how to thread it, so I, I finished threading all of them. But... Um, let me see if I can hold this and do it. Like I said, this is not how I record my my videos that I when I try and help people. I just want to put in oh, in the bottom pin, I don't even know if I got to that one. It is its own. It was a serrated pin, and I turned it into a key pin because it was the perfect length. It's the same size as this pin. 
and it works perfectly. I put it in the lock and tried it by itself with the the pin with the key, and this all works to a cut key. And um, it works good when there's pressure on the springs and springs are pushing down, but you know you can feel it getting caught up in that chamber even with the key going straight up, and it's just it's beautiful, man. I, I love it. So that's my finished product. I hope it looks better than the first. I really appreciate all the advice. Um, if anybody has any idea how to put the top driver for number five, and I don't know if I'm going to put the spool side in or the serrated because oh, that's what I was going to show you. Ooh, caught it. Sorry, I'm really not trying to make this shaky. It's just I don't know how else to get close. So I'm going to put that one spool side down. And if I put the other one serrated side down, we are, it, it gets caught great. If I put it spool side down like I'm going to, I just want you to see that sitting on it, that's how high it sticks out still. So I don't know if which way would be more f effective and, you know, jamming somebody up. I mean, because the serrations, when they're inside the chamber, instead of up top like this, man, they get caught big time. But that spool gets caught really good too. And then the only reason I'm thinking of turning in it this way is because, like I said, the serrations already get caught great. And then I have my spool, which would, you know give the the counter rotation and false set and all that other I, I don't know so thoughts that would be great um if there's any beginners out there um because I'm asking the, the more advanced people who have done this for their advice on that but for beginners I do just try and like help people out I was helped a lot giving stuff taught a lot of stuff I try to give it back that's what this channel is about so I have a few locks I'm giving away that you can watch my other videos. I tell you, you know, I'm not saying I need like 50 subscribers, 100, just a few people that, you know, who want to learn, you know what I mean? I'm going to give like, if there's three, shit, I'll give one of the three a chance. I, I don't care. It's an $11 lock that I beefed up and so and so, but, so, I had to throw that in in case somebody knew because I'm going to constantly be trying to help, so if you have questions or something that you need explained, and if anybody has any advice on some of the pins, maybe if you think that one should go one way or another, please let me know. So I figured this was the best way. I had way too much. I wasn't trying to type all this to several different people. So thanks for all the um, tips and advices earlier, guys. I hope this turned out great. I'm going to pin it up and I want to I wanna pick it and see if somebody else can. Alright, I'll catch you guys later.